Okay, this tutorial is going to be on some plane bending exercises, and basically the goal of what we're, what I'm trying to teach here, is to to be able to change from spinning with uh, 90 degrees off from what I would consider the correct plane orientation to spinning directly the way you want it to spin, and to be able to change between these things. So that the basic thing is when you're spinning in front of a camera, you're always going to want to have this two-dimensional thing going on, where you're always spinning, so they see the full circles. And being able to do that is imperative for such situations. But this isn't always the situation that you're going to be in. I mean, if you're spinning at a party or something, or you're doing like a fire spinning performance, and there's people facing around you in 360 degrees, if you keep that plane orientation, the people in front of you and behind you, they're seeing the full planes and everything's good for them, and they're enjoying your performance. But what about the people 90 degrees off from that? This is like what they're seeing. So you've got lines here. Wow, that's not very interesting. I don't know about you, but I don't want to watch somebody do this for five, ten minutes. Like, it just doesn't appeal to anyone. So, it's imperative that you learn ways to change from spinning in one degree to 90 degrees off from that. So, the way that you're going to go about this, just the basics of it, normally when you're doing a crossover with your correct plane orientation, your hands go like this. And if you trace the motion of your hand, what it's actually doing is a figure eight. But instead of being a flat figure eight, it's bent in half. So it's kind of like a V, but you go over, back, over, and back. So it's just a figure eight that you bent in half. And what you want to do is change from this really steep V to like a 90 degree V. So instead of crossing over to the new side, I cross over 90 degrees from that side. So it's still that figure 8 motion, but you're changing 90 degrees. And if you can't do that right away, don't feel bad. It takes a lot of practice to get to the point where you can do a quick, clean change like that. But that's your, your eventual goal. So start working with this crossing over the, to the other side, just start to, to flatten that out a bit until eventually you get it so that you're doing it 90 degrees off. And you kind of almost have to slow it down at certain points in the rotation to enable you to cleanly switch that. Like when it's coming down, you kind of hesitate a second, and then you just snap it back up into this direction. So when it comes down, snap it in the other direction. And once you have that down, and you got that with both hands and both directions and all that stuff, what you can do is you can start doing a weave and directly change it from spinning one direction to spinning the other direction. So. It's a weave. It's kind of hard to do this cleanly. I find it's easiest in a five beat. You got a little bit more time to to change from your planes. But that's that's a little something that you can try, and that's kind of tricky. But it's something to work towards, because that will enable you to be doing your weave for one audience, and then you immediately go into the other planes for the other side. And another thing that I find is really helpful, one that I kind of came up with, is from a buzz saw. Once again, when they come down, you can come out into a butterfly. Go back in your buzz saw. 
It works best if you kind of change your timing really quick so that you can enter the same timing from the split, your bus saw split time, go into a same time butterfly. And you really have to kind of snap it with your hands into the proper direction that you want to spin. Once again, the poi is going to follow your hands wherever your fingers are pointing. If they're pointing towards the camera there, you're going to be spinning in this plane. And you're bouncing your hand in a mini circle in that direction. If you want it to change to this direction, you point your fingers that direction, bounce your hand in tiny circles in that plane. That's how you're going to be changing. So with both hands spinning, you start to find that there's a few things you can do 90 degrees off. Right now I'm spinning same direction in front of me, or not in front of me, at my sides, and from here I can tip the fronts of them in to enter a forward butterfly. From same direction, forward same direction, to forward butterfly. Likewise, if you bend the backs of them that way, you can go into from a spinning forward at your sides to a reverse butterfly. So you're going to be changing the direction of one one way and the other changes the other way. Likewise, you can bend one forward and one back and go into clockwise spinning. Or you can bend the other way and go into the same direction spinning but clockwise or counterclockwise. So there's four possibilities just from every direction. And the same thing is true for butterfly. So I can spin, if I look to my right, this one's spinning clockwise and this one's spinning counterclockwise. Yeah, this one's spinning clockwise and if I turn this direction, this one's also spinning clockwise. So from here, you can go into, here's clockwise again, or you can go into counterclockwise, you can go into forward butterfly, or you can go into reverse butterfly. And this is going to be kind of a mind fuck for a while, figuring out how to bend each one in the right direction to get what you want, but this really opens up a lot of possibilities because you can instantly go from any direction of spin into whatever you want to. Like you're doing your butterfly, and I want to shift 90 degrees and go into a forward weave. Bam! Forward weave. And then from this, I can go back into my butterfly 90 degrees off. So, you're doing one thing, and then instantly you can go into something else 90 degrees off. And you can change from any direction of spin into anything else. It's just a great way to be able to change your direction and timing from any move to any move. It really helps you out with transitioning, making sure all sides of your audience get something to see, and it really opens up some new transitioning possibilities that you never really could do before. So, I hope this is helpful to you guys just something to keep working on. Like I said, it might not come right away, but just keep practicing on this 90 degree plane bend. Start off with your crossing over and then just start to bend it out. So you're doing your figure eight bent 90 degrees rather than this much steeper angle. And that crossover point that you're normally crossing over, making like the X in front of you, instead of it being directly in front of you, you're going to shift it over to this corner. So one plane's over here, one plane's over here, 90 degrees off, and that X that you're making is in the corner now. Okay, so that should be helpful for you guys. Have fun with that.